गुड मॉर्निंग सर यस सर Please come to the sitting position. Dandasan, sitting Dandasan. Let us do giant breathing. First one, toe stretch. Please proceed. One, two, three, four, and five. Ankle stretch. One, two. Three, four, and five. Next ankle rotation. Let's see clockwise five times. And anti-clockwise five times. Next. Lift your knee caps up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next, knee rotation. So see clockwise and anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Anti-clockwise. Three. Four, five. Change the leg. Proceed clockwise. Three, four, five. And clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Next, interlock your fingers. Hold your toes. Bring your feet closer to the body. Close your eyes. Focus on the base of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. It is called Bandhasan. With the same awareness, please proceed for full butterfly. Full swing both legs up and down. Do not give any jerks. Try to see if you can touch your tie to the ground. Continue to have focus on the base of the spine. Okay, then slowly release. Your legs. Okay. Next, waist rotation. Spread your legs apart. Interlock your fingers. Proceed for clockwise and anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Anti-clockwise. Okay. Next, sitting in Padmasan, Madhurasan, cross leg or any comfortable position. Finger stretch. Proceed. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट रिस्ट टू रोटेशन उसी क्लॉक वन right shoulder extend your biceps triceps feel the stretch keep breathing normal so in any final posture of any asana do not hold your breath keep breathing normal in any final position of any asana okay only during going to the particular posture we will do inhale or exhale once you reach the final position of any asana you need to keep breathing normal next left shoulder extend your biceps triceps feel the stretch okay next fingers in the palm position one spread your fingers apart two three four and five side wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay 
Okay, next. Neck exercises. Proceed type one. With inhale, neck up. Exhale, neck down. Proceed one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Next type two, side by side. When neck goes away from the center, exhale. When it comes to the center, inhale. Please proceed for five times. One, two, three, four. And five. Next type three to the left and right. When neck goes from away from the center, exhale. When it comes to the center, inhale. Please proceed for five times. One, two, three, four. And five. Next, neck rotation, clockwise and anticlockwise. Please proceed. Your chin will touch the base of the throat. Proceed for clockwise to the left, back, right, center. Proceed. Two, Four and five. Anti clockwise. The right, back, left, center. Proceed. Okay, next, turn to the right, give good twisting, right palm on the ground, turn to the right, from the center, to the left, Then come to center and release the rajasan step by step to the right, to the left, back to the center, up on the knees, back to the bhajrasan, release your legs one by one, to stop your legs side, stretch your ankles. Up and down. Okay, next time standing motion, let us do Surya Namaskar. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in Namaste position. Please proceed one. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay, let us do one more round. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in namaste position. Please proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay, let us do final round. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in Namaste position. Please proceed. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And twelve. Okay. Close your eyes. Feet apart. Palms open. Observe the changes in the body, mind, breath, energy, and blood circulation before Surya Namaskar and after Surya Namaskar. Okay, slowly open your eyes, come to sitting position. <clears throat> let us do, let us do sitting posture. Relax in sitting posture. Sitila Dandasan for a few seconds. Stretch your legs, legs apart, toes pointing away from the body. Bring your head down backwards, rest your arms backwards. Palm facing downwards.
relax few seconds it is called sitila dandasan or we can say relax while stretching your legs okay let come to starting position feet together hands by the side of the body palms facing downwards so let us do sitting asanas first one vakrasan one bend your right leg two raise your left hand hold your right leg and turn towards right side right palm on the ground turn towards right side stay there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 3 release your left hand 4 release your right leg next up sari position in dandasana 1 bend your left leg 2 raise your right hand hold your left leg turn towards left side left palm on the ground 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. Release your right hand. Four. Release your left leg. And then relax for a few seconds in Sitila Dandasana. So this Vakrasan is good for stimulating your pancreas. It is good for diabetes and also good for abdominal fat loss. So whichever asana has twist in the spine is good for diabetes. for stimulating pancreas and for abdominal fat loss relax for few seconds in sitila dandasana next come to study position in dandasana next one we will do ardhamachandasana so this asana is named after yogi called matsendra nar so this is what we are going to do ardha machandasan so it is only half which we were he was able to do okay so one bend bend your right leg so right heel touch the left buttocks two keep your left feet forward in front in front of your right knee so this posture is very important so that you can do this thing three raise your right hand hold your left leg and turn towards left side Four, left hand over the waist. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five. Release your left hand. Six. Release your right hand. Seven and eight. Release your legs one by one. Next, come to starting motion in Dandasan. So Ardha Machandasan is also. self complementary posture we do right side and also the left side one bend your left leg so left heel touch the right buttocks two right feet forward so whichever leg is up you will turn towards that side okay three raise your left hand hold your right leg and turn towards right side and four Right hand over the waist. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Release your right hand. Six. Release your left hand. Seven and eight. Release your legs one by one and relax in Sitila Dandasana. so the benefits and limitations are same for sitila for vakrasan and also for ardha machandrasan the limitation is if you have a recent abdominal surgery you should avoid practicing vakrasan or ardha machandrasan next come to study motion This one is Paschimottanasana, posterior posture. So it is similar to the Padasthasana while standing. One, two, three, four. And stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Next, I'm starting motion in Dandasan. So, next one is Sheshankasan or moon posture breathing. One, bend your right leg. Two, bend your left leg. Three, take your hands backwards. Left palm will hold your right wrist. So, make loose fist with the right hand. Then, observe the pulse of your Pulse of your right hand with the left thumb. Make loose fist and open and loose fist, open. Observe the pulse of your right hand with the left thumb. So this is a call number three. Now four, inhale. Once you have sufficient air in the lungs, synchronizing your exhalation, bend forward. Once you reach the final position, do not hold your breath. Keep breathing normal for a few seconds. After a couple of inhale and exhale, while synchronizing your inhalation, slowly come back to vertical position. That is call number five. Six, hands back in the thighs. Then seven and eight, release your legs one by one. And relax in Siddhala Dandasar for a few seconds.
Okay. Next, the complementary posture for Shashankasan is Sitilal. Sorry, complementary posture for Shashankasan is Supta Vajrasan. Supayan Vajrasan. Control starting position. One, window right leg. Two, window left leg. Now, count number three is very, very important. Take your right palm, left palm on the ground, backwards. Right elbow on the ground, left elbow on the ground. <clears throat> Bring your lower back, middle back, upper back, back of the head, back of the neck. So, complete your back on the ground. Four, raise your hands over the head. So, this is called Supta Vajrasana, Supayan Vajrasana. So, lying down on the back while sitting in Vajrasana. This is the final portion of this particular asana. Keep breathing normal. Keep breathing normal for a few seconds. Next five, you can hold your yoga mat. Or you can hold your hip joints and keep your elbows on the ground and slowly come back to vertical position. So that is call number five. Six, hands back on the thighs. And seven and eight, release your legs one by one. And relax in Siddhala Dandasan for a few seconds. So once you relax enough, now lie down on your stomach. We are going to do prone posture. <clears throat> lie down on the stomach. Come to starting position, feet together, forehead on the ground. At one bhujangasana. Call number one, chin on the ground. Keep your palms just beside the chest. Now call number two, without your palm support. Look up and lift your upper back up. And then keep breathing normal. Lift your upper back up without your palm support. It's called Bhujangasana. It is good for strengthening your spine and also good for good for weight loss. Okay? Stay there. And three, come back. Chin back on the ground. Palms on the ground. Four, back to the standing position. And then relax in Makarasana. So this Makarasana is very effective relaxing technique, especially now during the COVID time. It increases your lungs capacity as well. I'm starting motion. Feet together, forehead on the ground, hands right over the head. The complementary posture for Bhutanasana is Telabhasana. Count number one, chin on the ground. Make fist with your both hands. Keep your palms but in the vertical position. Bring your palms under the groin area. So this is the call number one. Two, lift your both legs up. Stay there. Keep breathing normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. Bring your both legs back on the ground. Four, back to the starting position. And then relax in Makarasana. Next, come to starting position. Forehead on the ground, hands raise right over the head. Next one is Dhanurasan, bow string posture. So there is no complementary position. There is no complementary posture for this asana. This particular asana itself is complete. One, 
chin on the ground two right hand will hold the right ankles left hand will hold the left ankles so this option is good for for those who are having overweight it is very very good technique okay so this is the call number 1 then go to the posture lift your upper back lower back up thighs off the ground look up keep breathing normal stay there so lift your upper back up and lower back up thighs off the ground three chin back on the ground continue to hold your ankles four back to the starting position and then relax in makarasan okay next come to starting position next one is bhujangasan stretching one chin on the ground keep your palms just beside the chest okay so your knees and feet are completely on the ground one with inhale look up look in front do not look up okay your thighs on the ground then exhale come down two three four and five okay then relax in makarasan Next, lie down on your back. Let us do quick relaxation techniques. Lie down on your back in Shavasan. <clears throat> Let us do quick relaxation technique. Inhale. Exhale. Observe the abdominal movements. going up and down as you breathe in and breathe out normally observe for five seconds next step 2 as you breathe in abdomen bulges up as you breathe out abdomen sucks in I repeat for four more seconds to 3 4 and 5 next we are going to chant akara while exhaling inhale fully first while exhaling chant along with me uh feel the vibrations in the lower parts of the body with the ghost of akara
feel the lightness, alertness, and movement of energy throughout the body as we breathe and completely collapse the whole body and enjoy the quick relaxation as you breathe out. First of all, come back to sitting position. Now, sitting Padmasal. Let us do Nadi, Nadi Shukti, Anlo Vilom Pranayam or alternate breathing. Make Nasukam with the right hand, close your right nostril. Exhale from the left nostril only for the first time. Inhale from the left, close left. Open your right, exhale from the right nostril. So it completes half front. Now inhale from the right, close right, open your left, exhale from the left nostril. So it completes one dot. Proceed for eight more rounds, two. Three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Bring your right hand down. Next, Brahmani for five times at your own face. Once you are done, bring your hands down. Mm. Bring your hands down. Let us end the session with the prayer. Okay, so before ending the session, keep your palms in chin mudra. Keep your palms in chin mudra. Close your eyes, keep your spine straight. Visualize the God, clever object, or your favorite person, or Ishta Devata, in the form of the light at the center of the heart.
once the object of meditation disappears, we will be in a meditative state. Meditation is something which cannot be done. It is a state to be achieved with no thoughts. When you become yourself, the object of meditation will become one with the universe, which will help to lead to the higher level dimensions and spirituality. Bring your hands in Namaste position. Let us end the session with the prayer. Inhale. Om Bhutvatsvaha. Om Tatsavidur Varenyam Bhartu Devasya Dimahi. Diyo Yona Prachodayat. Inhale. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Rub your palms. Genetic heat. Place your eyes, face, ears, neck, throat, slowly blink your eyes, look at the floor. Now slowly look up. Okay. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye-bye.